Bonjour à toutes et à tous et bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo ici Mordred de micro et nous sommes de retour sur le let's play sur Game of Thrones l'épisode 5 Nest of Vipers et nous sommes sur la partie 3 qui sera probablement la dernière nous revenons à King's Landing où l'on retrouve Mira Forrester You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Ouh là, on est en train d'entrer dans le jeu de Cersei, là c'est très très mauvais cette histoire. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. 
Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Go on. I'm surprised to see you here. After you humiliated me, you mean. You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What should I tell Roderick? Tell him what I do. I do for our house. Daenerys will eventually return to Westeros. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. There's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. I've made my decision. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. 
I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. She left me no choice. She never does. Least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Bon, j'ai été honnête avec Tyrion, je lui devais bien ça. Must you leave? Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. My only regret is what happened to your brother. If I'd only... Please, let's not talk about Arthur. Not now. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. listening last night i couldn't i was having nightmares so i go on talia i went back there to the grove and someone was there what do you mean look this is a report how many fighting men we have where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held. It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. 
if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done. That should be enough. Talia, please. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. You scared the bloody daylights out of me. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Why, Roiland? Why did you do it? Your father was the greatest lord I've ever known. But you! You've brought this house to ruin! You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. You're blaming me for what you did. I'm telling you what you need to hear. I rose through the ranks because I knew when to ignore orders from men unfit to give them. Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices, too, since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Going to High Point without any soldiers, despite my every warning. Shying away at every turn from a war you know is coming. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Roiland! You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. So you turn your cloak? That's your answer? I'm not gonna stand by and watch you destroy this family. You're driving House Forrester the way of the Starks. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath for I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan, how could you? This was his doing. Just sentence me and be done with it. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. You must decide, my lord. I'll spare your life. Now talk. Talk. 
Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! You must protect Asher. Protect the true lord of this house. Take this traitor away. Get your hands off me. What Royland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. The Lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Let's go to war. to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. And lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house. And he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you. Not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. This couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. Get out of here. Oh. 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 
Oh, c'est pas vrai. Ah oh, mais c'est horrible Ah, c'est dégueulasse Quelle fin pour cet épisode de Game of Thrones, mon dieu Bon, et eh bien écoutez, euh, voilà, c'est là-dessus que se termine Nest of Vipers, le cinquième épisode de la série Game of Thrones par Telltale Games. Je rappelle tout de même qu'il y aura un épisode 6. D'habitude, les jeux de Telltale Games se font en cinq épisodes, mais là pour le coup, on parle de Game of Thrones, donc il y en aura un sixième. Hein, faut pas déconner non plus, il y a quand même de la matière. Bon. Euh, écoutez, moi c'est un épisode que j'ai que j'ai pas mal aimé, euh, surtout le choix euh, le choix Roderick Asher. Alors moi j'aime j'aime pas trop les choix binaires comme ça, euh, même si j'avoue que j'aimerais bien savoir un petit peu euh, bah, ce qui se passe quand on a choisi euh, quand on a choisi de faire survivre Roderick. Moi pour ma part, pourquoi j'ai choisi euh, de d'éliminer Roderick Parce que j'ai l'impression que son son voyage est un petit peu euh, arrivé à, à sa fin, c'est-à-dire que euh, voilà, il a, été, il a été seigneur, il a essayé de protéger un petit peu ses, ses ambitions, protéger sa famille, euh, protéger euh, Elena. Euh, ça n'a pas forcément bien bien fonctionné, il s'est un petit peu mis à dos euh, ses, euh, ses suivants les plus, euh, les plus fervents. Du coup, ça me paraissait logique qu'il euh, se sacrifie pour Asher, étant donné que euh, bah voilà, c'est un petit peu le retour du, du fils prodige. Euh, voilà, ça m'a un petit peu... Euh, évidemment, c'est toujours à crève-cœur d'éliminer un personnage euh, avec lequel on a, on a tant vécu, avec le, lequel on a, on a joué pendant une bonne, euh, bonne demi-douzaine d'heures. Euh, mais, euh, mais ça me semblait être le, le destin le plus logique pour Roderick. Et puis, évidemment, il, il meurt en grand seigneur. Et puis, euh, il passe le flambon à son, à son frère, qui, pour le coup, lui, aura plus de légitimité à, à combattre cette guerre, puisque... Euh, puisque c'est lui qui véritablement a le leadership euh, des combattants de Myrine. Donc euh, ça me paraissait tout à fait logique. Alors j'ai peut-être fait un choix cynique en réfléchissant à tout ces toutes ces choses-là, et plutôt qu'un choix émotionnel, mais, euh, mais pour le coup je trouve que voilà l'arc narratif de Roderick est plutôt, euh, est plutôt complet, même s'il meurt très 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 salement. Euh, je pense que voilà c'était euh, c'était logique en tout cas dans... Dans mon let's play, en tout cas dans ma version de, de l'histoire de Game of Thrones, de, de le laisser euh, se sacrifier pour son frère aîné, euh, qui est véritablement le seigneur légitime. Donc voilà, j'espère que ça vous a plu. N'hésitez pas à me dire ce que vous avez fait comme choix euh, si vous avez joué au jeu, euh, dans les commentaires bien évidemment. Si tout ceci vous a plu, n'hésitez pas à laisser un petit pouce vert, à vous abonner à la chaîne, et puis on se retrouve très bientôt d'ici septembre, logiquement 
pour avoir la suite et la fin de Game of Thrones par Telltale Games. Je vous embrasse et je vous dis à très bientôt tout le monde. Salut à tous